Hello and welcome back for part two on day three of my trip to Cornwall on Bobby the Bullet. This time we're leaving Barmouth and heading for a small village a few miles away called Bonthe. I think that's how you pronounce it. After dithering a bit we're going to take a short ride up a very steep hill and then back down it. This is quite short compared to some of the videos I've done recently. But I thought it was appropriate to show this little section of the ride in its own video. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, unfortunately, Ian, I haven't got any time today to go and follow the route she showed us on the on your last trip to Wales. I wouldn't mind heading up there, but I just haven't got time. Too far to go. Looks a bit uh, it's going to be a bit misty on the top there, anyway. So I wouldn't see much. For anybody who doesn't know, Ian is Ian Hughes and I've left links to his channel and the videos I'm talking about in the description below. Ian does regular trips to Wales, the one I'm talking about he did in October 2023 which was about a month before I did this trip to Cornwall, so we weren't far apart. I think this is all blowing over. Well, after some consideration over the next couple of minutes, I decided I would take one of Ian's routes, the shorter one. Hopefully it will give time for the clouds to blow over and let the weather improve a bit. You never know, I might even see some sunshine today. I don't know, maybe if I uh, hung around for a little while that would all blow away and might get a dry ride. Hard to say. We'll see. We'll see if I can remember where to turn left. Definitely blowing over.
sure what my microphone is. Should have checked that. I think I might have knocked it. This is the, the place, isn't it? It's my, it's my hair turned left. Microphones are uh, panic over. Building just on top of the hill there. And I'll go for it. I'll just explain that strange little manoeuvre. I was a bit worried that band was going to start rolling backwards right into me, so I got out of the way quickly. Go. Well, it's obviously rained here very recently, so I'm glad it wasn't any earlier, otherwise it'd have got soaked.
arrived at the top of the very special road. Now if you want to know why it's special you're going to have to go and watch it in Hughes' video. I've put a link to that in the description below and it's well worth watching. The weather is much better than the weather we've got just now and he gives a lot more information about the places and people he knows along the way. I have to be careful turning around here end up on my side so if you haven't seen it already go and watch it and even if you have seen it go and watch it again there's some great views from the top here not seen any today because of the clouds but he ain't got a good day for it move that phone while I'm here Soggy. Oh well, I did it. It looks as if some of that cloud has definitely blown further over, so it's fine. Take it 
easy going down here. I definitely haven't got time to do the other one. It's a Kedar Idris. No way. It's telling me now that I'll get to the hotel at 23 minutes past five. So I'm uh, 20 minutes off schedule already. Which is okay. I've got to get a, a ridiculously early start tomorrow. and the customer, well I'm aiming for 9 o'clock and they're only just around the corner from where I'm staying so Well they're 10 miles away but in the context of this journey that's just around the corner isn't it you Don't have to get up 5 o'clock tomorrow Apologies if there's a lot of wind noise in the mic, I, I don't want to close my visor just now. Going slow and puffing and panting, I just steam the, steam the visor up. doesn't seem to be bothering the camera too much. It's, it was that 360 mount that was making it wobble around so much. So. I'll have to find a better solution. I don't really want to buy a 360 camera. I don't think a 360 camera is going to work for what I do. Certainly not interested in turning cameras on and off every time I want to record something. Oh, it's horribly slippery down here.
por aqui. Oh. Back on route. Okay, I'm going to finish part two here. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said at the top of the hill, go and watch Ian Hughes' video, even if you've already seen it. Next time we're heading through Mahuntleth, Aberystwyth, and then into the interior. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing if you have done, thanks for your comments and your likes, and I'll speak to you again in part 3. Bye for now.